Hello, hello, and welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And today, I wanna to talk about why waiting to exhale is impeding your success. If we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller, and I'm an intuitive energy guide, and I have been guiding empaths and visionaries for two decades now in creating specific energetic recipes for them to find their mojo, to find their groove, whether that's through yoga, crystals, card readings, whether it's through tuning forks, whether it's through energy healing sessions. My joy as an energy alchemist is putting together sacred practices to deliver specific results. So thank you for joining me. I want to talk about the breath and why am I talking about this? Well, it's curious because I have people ask me, you know, how do you decide what topics to talk about each week? And that's the fun part for me because that's all about speaking the language of intuition. And that's something I love to teach as well. It's noticing the signs and the signals that keep popping up around me that are giving me little hints or nudges, inklings, on what's most important. What are the most important topics that would be relevant to those of you tuning in? And the breath really came up. I have had clients that have been coming for their one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. They're frustrated because they feel like they're running in circles. They're stuck in the muck, you know, everybody's flinging things <laughs> like a happy monkey or maybe not so happy. Uh, they feel like they're just not getting anywhere. They're spinning their wheels and they're frustrated. They want to make forward momentum and they don't want to get stuck in the weeds and the details. So this is what I have shared with them that's working and I want to share it with you. The best thing you can do when you feel like something is just not quite right, check in with your breath. Now, why the breath? Well, most often, um, more likely than not, we're not breathing full deep breaths. And why would that be bad? Well, when we're breathing shallow breaths just into the upper portion of the lung, what's happening is we're triggering the little cilia there, the little hair-like things that are like in our nose, and it sends a signal to our nervous system that says you're in a fight or flight situation. It pumps out more cortisol into your bloodstream, which means you're gonna keep on that extra fat because <laughs> you're in fight or flight survival mode. And often, the things that we get very stressed and anxious about, we're not in a fight or flight situation. It's more so we're just stressed and we're not taking a deep breath. Our life isn't in danger. That's one of the reasons why breathing is so important. It's gonna keep your waistline tiny and it's gonna keep you energetic because breath is our life. Um, let me know as you jump on, just give me a quick shout out, a hello. Um, have you been holding your breath these last couple of weeks? Because that was, that was the second thing that really popped up across my radar. I started hearing phrases from my clients like, I didn't even know I was holding my breath. I heard a fun one that I absolutely love, which was I had to take my watch off because it kept telling me to breathe. I love that because how curious is that? We hold our breath and we don't even realize. Um, I had clients coming to me saying, you know, I just didn't sleep well. I woke up sideways in my bed and I, I couldn't remember my dreams, but I know it was a wild one. What's going on? We're not getting a chance to really breathe fully. So this is what I shared with them. The very first thing, get outside. Why? Because it's grounding, it's stabilizing, and it's a wonderful practice called earthing, where essentially what you're doing is all of those stressful energy charges in your field, they're considered positive ions, it's causing the anxiety, causing you to hold your breath. When you get outside, naturally the earth is going to neutralize those ions with negative ions and it's going to be very calming. So you can think about it anytime you've been at the beach, the shoreline, or you've gone for a walk in the woods, it's very, very relaxing and soothing. Getting outside is key. The next thing is cultivating a breathing practice. The yogis have developed a whole line of yoga around this called pranayama. Prana is our breath. It's our life force. And when we're not breathing full deep breaths, we're denying ourselves life. You know, we're kind of shortening our life. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. But the deep breath is important. We want to have the most um, sweet experience on our adventures in life and the breath will support us with that. So I encourage you once you're outside, if you don't feel like you're naturally calming down, it's taking a little extra time, find a tree, 
trees are very, very grounding. And this is my favorite maple tree here um, in my home. And it's nice to connect with the trees just simply by placing your hand on a tree and taking a couple of breaths just like that, super simple. It's calming, it'll ground you. The other thing that you can do is let's say you really need some extra support. It's been a wild and crazy ride. I encourage you always ask the trees permission first because trees are, you know, living beings and they do an incredible job of supporting us and loving us. And there's a whole practice around trees, but you can just say, okay, tree, you know, I really need some help feeling better. I can't quite find my bearings. I'm getting distracted by all the things. I feel the anxiety. I'm holding my breath. I just need to remember what it's like to have that full deep breath. I need to let know what it feels like to exhale and let go that sweet release. So with the hand on the tree, you exhale completely, always exhaling first, get all of the air out of the lungs, drawing the belly button to the spine. And as you exhale, Imagine that the tree is inhaling. And as you inhale, imagine that the tree has just exhaled. And you create this link. You exhale, the tree inhales. You inhale, the tree has just exhaled. And you start to feel this rhythm like you're just bobbing on the ocean. This calming force comes over you, very quieting and peaceful. You can even imagine that the rooting of the tree helps you to really anchor and root into the earth. And you take those deep breaths and you take that back with you, just always thinking your tree, maybe hugging a tree. I've got to hug the tree. <laughs> and that is one of the ways that you can find your breath and you'll be able to find your focus all of those crazy distracting ideas, you become clear-sighted, laser beam focused, and you get things done. You move through those blocks. So thank you, thank you for joining me. Let me know if you have breathed recently with a tree. And if this has brought up more questions than answers for you, click the link. Um, come hang out with me and play. I'd love to continue this conversation with you. Have an incredible day, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye guys.